for this All Tricks Weekly Challenge, we've got a spatial challenge. So for Brazil, we have a number of different states. And in 1920, there are only 22 states, as we can see over here. And we then have um, current states for um, for this year, or basically just the ones that have changed. Um, so where uh, a larger state has been broken down into two, for example, and we basically need to update the file that we have to reflect this. So uh, three inputs here. The first one is just showing those states that need to give up some of their area and those states that need to be introduced into the um, shapefile. And then we've got those additional states that I was mentioning, those that aren't currently part of that map that we need to add on, and the states as of 1920. So I thought about a lot of different ways to join these, uh, these files together, but I decided to go with a spatial match field. I used the 1920 fields um, as the universe and then the missing states as the target, as I thought that made more sense. I thought that, you know, uh, the missing, the new missing states are going to be a subset of those existing states. So um, that in my head made more sense for the old states to be the universe. And we selected where uh, the target in intersects the universe here. And if we just have a look at what comes out of the output, then you can see that if I just have the universe spatial objects for a minute, then these are all the states that need to have some of their area taken away to make room for these new states. So that makes sense. But if we think about it, then up here, this kind of gives our um, description of which states need to lose area and which states need to, well, we already know how much these these states here will gain because we have the information about their shape files here already. What we actually just need to do to this data is kind of cut out uh, the new states from the old states. But we've got like nine rows here, whereas we've only got seven rows here. So what we need to do is we need to join those together on the um, on both of those fields so that we lose these two because actually we don't want these two um, old states to lose any of their land. We only want it to come from um, the other states that intersect with those new states, if that makes sense. So we get our seven records out here. Next, we do a spatial process to just cut that out. So if we just bring in a browse tool again here to show you what I mean by that, then we have, um, if I just show you the spatial object, the process, then we can see that where this is like the new state here, and then we've just cut that out from the old state. That's probably the best example to see where that's happening. But then if we see um, different rows here, so um, if we take, for example, down here, I'm not going to try and butcher the pronunciation of that, then we've still got like the whole state there because it's having two different pieces of land cut out from it. So we've got that whole bit and then we've got this half bit. And if we check in the output up here, then we only want that to be um, this half bit. So how do we get that to be the case? Well, I'm going to use a spatial info tool and say on that spatial object process field, give me the square miles area. And then for each of those 1920 states, we're just going to take the minimum uh, area and join that back on. So then we're only keeping uh, those states, those sort of new cut out versions of the states as the states that need to be updated basically. So if now that we've got those updates, we need to find in our um, original 1920s the spatial objects that we need to then replace. So before we get to that stage though, we've got one more requirement from the challenge. 
So um, Rio de Janeiro um, needs to regain some of the land from federal districts. So if I show you what I mean here, then you can see that the federal uh, district, the federal district here is in this state here. Whereas in our start file, let me just get grab another browse tool to show you. We have that the federal the federal district is down here in Rio de Janeiro, so we just need to uh, update the district um, the federal district to be Rio de Janeiro. Right, yeah, we need to give that land that the federal district has currently to Rio de Janeiro. So that's how we do that. And then we just group by and combine those spatial objects. So what we're doing is we're just telling Alltrex to, if I zoom in, because it's not very clear otherwise. So this is Rio de Janeiro here, and this is the federal uh, district. And we're just combining these two by naming that um, federal district given that federal district the name of Rio de Janeiro as well. Cool, so then we're doing the find and replace. So we're finding that name and then appending on the new um, spatial object. We're updating this spatial object field to now take uh, the spatial object process if it's um, got a value to take, basically. And then we're doing some unioning with those um, new states, those missing states. And finally, we're just sorting them in an ascending order to compare them to the output because we actually have the right output. So I found this one quite difficult, this challenge to get my head around because I don't use spatial tools very often. And I'm not sure I've given the best explanation as to why I've taken the steps that I have. Um, but hopefully it helps point you in the right direction a little bit more as to how to tackle this challenge. Thanks for watching.